You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And so doing SmackDown from January 16th. El Stinkadoro or something like that. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, the the show for what it was, I did I thought it was passable. Okay, so this was your definition of a B show. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because it was, well, there was no big stars on the show at all. No. Um, Not in the ring anyway. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, because Randy Orton, AJ, they all had backstage stuff. I think there might have been a dark match with AJ oh, or I something like that. I certainly would hope so. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, why is that? Well, uh, although the mixed match challenge was an appeal. Yes. Um, But yeah, there was, there was nothing really going on here. For what it was... It wasn't too bad, but this isn't a, a show you should really be putting on, like, on TV. No. No, because there's not a... Not two weeks before the Rumble. Yeah. So it's kind of silly. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. so the show opens with the New Day coming out. Yeah, we were pretty excited that we were going to get a match to open the show, mm-hmm. and then... We learned what it was leading to. Yes, because this went on for longer than it should have. Oh, the match? No, the the promo beforehand. It was oh, like yeah. almost ten minutes. Yeah, it was, it was pretty long. Um, uh, it, it's weird because they're almost like they're uh, campaigning for a U.S. champion. Yeah, I guess they don't understand that winning matches has nothing to do with popular <laughs> opinion. Obviously, they haven't learned from dealing with Roman mm-hmm. Reigns. Oh, yeah. They were on Raw. <laughs> they should know. It's true. Um, so, so they come out. They have a podium with the American flag all over it. Oh, yeah. Saying that they should, or Xavier Woods should be the next U.S. champion. And um, I forget what they, oh, <laughs> they said the, the, a lot of the American principles. Mm-hmm. And then they start talking about. Uh, Gender, how we. No, 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 oh. no. They're talking about like freedom and everything. Well, that's and, what I was going to say. That Gender hates freedom. Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. And he hates everybody in the crowd. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they moved on to the, the most p- important principle of them all mm-hmm. the principle of pancakes. Yeah. And how like the ingredients make something beautiful or something like that mm-hmm. like this country or some nonsense like i texted you last night feud of the year Corey graves versus pancakes <laughs> it, it's true he gets so angry and the best part is that Big E like f- like feeds into him because obviously he's the one who's like bringing them pancakes oh yeah it's great <laughs> uh, that was probably the highlight of the match is uh oh Big the e. new day on the outside throwing uh pancakes. pancakes at the sing brothers or at the commentator's <laughs> desk and yeah. stuff like that now the match which was xavier woods versus jinder mahal yes the, the um, second round match or the semifinals, i guess you would call it yeah the problem i had with this is that it just went on it was really long. on we got through two commercial breaks we did we got a regular commercial break and then a picture in picture commercial break mm-hmm. I, Why? I don't know. Especially Why? considering that there was, what, four matches the whole night? Yes. And, and three of them were in the U.S. title? I <laughs> thought we had an, another uh, Enzo incident again toward the oh, end of the match. Oh, when he hit his head on the ropes? Yeah. I think Ginger's, that was intentional. Yeah, I know, but it was just like, why would you do a spot like that? That could potentially be very dangerous. It's true. And the fact that... So, yeah, Mahal throws Xavier into the bottom rope. Well, he was trying to throw him out, out the of ring? the ring, yeah. I think. I, I guess. And he bounces his head off the bottom rope. Yeah. And it, it looked very much like that. Um, yeah, it wasn't Enzo as thing. severe. No, as it wasn't Enzo's, as it wasn't obviously. as whiplashy. Yeah. And <clears> then <throat> Mahal hits a coloss after it, and I cringe every time he hits the coloss. Well, because, that was a bad one. Like, a really bad well, one. Well, I think it's... Ginger's probably used to working with heavier, heavier people. Oh, absolutely. So he lifted uh, Xavier yeah, a lot easier. because he landed, like, back here. Yeah, because he, like, threw him around like nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that I noticed because he landed, like, really high up on his shoulders. Yeah. Um, so, but, yeah, that was yeah, that was not pretty. That was that. So uh, Ginger Mahal will go on to face the winner of Bobby Roode and Mojo. Yes. Um, up next, we have uh, a... Next week, yep. they said. Oh, did they say next week? Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Because That's it's right. no longer going to be at the end of the Royal Rumble. Uh, at the, the Royal, Royal Rumble. Rumble. Yes. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Up next, we have a uh, video that Corbin had recorded, I guess, over the weekend, right? Something uh, yeah, like that? Yeah, they said at a live event. 
Yeah. So. Um, basically about him going into the Royal Rumble and it's, throwing people over the ropes. It's his kind of match. Yeah. It's made for him. Yeah. So this was, oh, we should probably show him on TV. Well, Two weeks in a, a row. A lot of people. He had, had, had he wasn't on the show last week. No, I'm just saying that no, he oh, wasn't oh, the I, only oh, I know, one. I know, I know. So, um, wait, wait. so uh, up next, we have Renee Young interviewing AJ Styles. Mm-hmm. Uh, AJ says that um, it'll actually be three on one at the Royal Rumble because he counts Kevin Owens as two people. Vince McMahon must have been very proud of himself with this joke. <laughs> I was going to say, is that a fat joke, I'm assuming? <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Uh, that, that's, that's like uh, something they'd make Randy Orton say, not right. something they make AJ say. But, I mean, the, the company that had the anti-bullying I campaign, know. and then they come up with this crap. I know. Oh, man. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, he then comes up with a new nickname for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They should be called Cammy from now on. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Uh, then he went on, yeah, putting putting a stop to the yep movement, and yep. then he said, you know, I didn't get here by you know losing matches and stuff like that. So him coming is... against all the odds of being in a handicap match—that's wh- how he is the person he is today, or whatever. Yeah, was... and he said that this is SmackDown Live, mm. the house that AJ. St- I, I it hate when just he does that. Didn't feel it's natural. So bad. No, I know, but it just did, the promo didn't feel natural, or the yeah. interview, whatever you want to say. It just. Yeah. He was definitely reading a cue cards. Yeah, something, yeah. something. Yeah, whatever. I don't know if it was cue. I don't. I wouldn't say it was cue cards. No, but, I know, but still, man. So, and then it just gets worse. <laughs> <sighs> so up next, they uh, they decided that they were going to hear from the entire women's roster and have each of them do short little videos like Corbin did. Yeah, about how they're going to win. The Royal with their Royal. own cell phones, I'm assuming. Yes. Because it was very shaky on most of them. Every single one of them, except for Charlotte, mm-hmm. made a video. It was crazy. that, Like, why would they do that? It was just promoting the Royal Rumble, I guess. Uh, yeah, but it's such a waste of time. I'm not disagreeing with yeah. you. In at least uh, the uh, only one that wasn't terrible was Becky's. And Well, hers seemed the most, I guess, comfortable. Genuine. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And it was, it was the... Also, the most to the point. Yeah, and it wasn't you know in, completely in character and have to have some stupid catchphrase mm-hmm. like like live saying I'm gonna live forever or something like that. Yeah, actually, hers wasn't terrible. Yeah, though. yeah, and then Ruby. Yeah, <sighs> Wait, it's not that they were necessarily like horrible, horrible promos. Oh, no, it was just unnecessary. The, yeah, the idea that they did it was a little silly. Yeah, um, I mean, th- this has just been that's the women on SmackDown in a nutshell. Yeah. This is it. This is the Lack mistreatment of, of them. Yes. Um, hopefully, oh. after the Royal Rumble, they can stop. They can actually start stories. Yeah. I'm saying that since God knows how long. I know. That, <laughs> I'm still holding on to hope, though. Anything's you possible. You hold on to it, pal. <laughs> Up next, we have the other semifinal match with yep. uh, Bobby Roode versus Mojo. Mm-hmm. Um, Mojo gets absolutely no crowd reaction, and mm-hmm. neither does face Bobby Roode. Yeah, he's uh, bland. And people aren't even singing the theme anymore. Yeah. Um, Not to the extent that they were, no. anyway. It was very although, quiet. Although Tom Phillips did screw up his entrance last night. Probably. That was really funny. So, the Rude comes out, and uh, I think Byron goes, he, or it's, 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 and then Tom Phillips is glorious. <laughs> it's like, you're supposed to let the music say the word, Tom. <laughs> Oh, man. It's, a, um, it's always fun listening to Corey Graves yell at Tom Phillips. For, for what this match was, it wasn't bad. I mean, Mojo had a good showing. Rude sold the hell out of it. Mm. Um, Mojo, well, Bobby Rude ends up winning with a glorious DDT. Yeah, but uh, not, no surprise there. Mojo took to social media and blamed the referee for his loss, which the referee did get in his way a couple times. But, oh, but yeah. But you never know what the hell Mojo's going to do. Yeah, I, I, Guy's I, a loose I, cannon. I forgot about that. The week before, the same thing happened. The yeah. referee wasn't... It, I mean, you can't say the referee's not in the right spot yeah. because he runs from one side <laughs> of the ring to the other very quickly. Yeah. So it's not even... And it's not like it... It's like an easy thing to be prepared for. Mm-hmm. So, but he did almost run over my Kyoto. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like I said, I mean, there's, there's, 
Not to take anything away from Rude, but it's his character that was the best in NXT. His oh, yes, wrestling absolutely. was never no, that wasn't anything good. to write home about. No. But he comes to the main roster, and you completely rip that character from him. Mm-hmm. Because they wanted him to be a face for some reason. Yeah. Oh, people are singing his theme song. That means he should be a good guy. Yeah, it's so dumb. Although NXT crowds are dumb, too, because they don't understand. They just the love heat. everything. Yeah. Well, it... <laughs> Because they'll, they'll cheer for somebody and then they'll boo them five seconds later because they're like, oh, yeah, we're supposed to boo you. <laughs> Wait, we like that guy better. Yeah. Boo you. Yeah, so there, that's a whole other story. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, he gets, after the match, uh, he gets attacked by the uh, Singh brothers. Yes. Um, then Jinder comes out and, you know, says he's going to win next week, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And then Bobby Roode does what the face is going to say mm-hmm. and says... Why wait till next week? Let's do it right now. And then and Jinder, Jinder says, oh, as if it's his decision to make. We will do it on my time. <laughs> then, Which makes no sense. And then Daniel Bryan comes out. Surprisingly, he didn't say, that's a great idea. Although, <laughs> and, and it's funny because he didn't like come out with his entrance music or anything. No, he just walked he, out. He just appeared mm-hmm. behind Jinder and it like spooked him. <laughs> it was kind of funny. But yeah, he huh. comes out and he says that the match will, in fact, happen tonight because he likes the idea that Bobby Roode had. So that is going to be our main event. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, the, the way they transitioned it into having the match tonight was fine. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. nothing wrong with that. Well, because I think they had announced earlier that the finals would no longer be taking place at the, the Rumble. Rumble. Yeah. Um, so basically, this was them shoehorning it in. Yeah, um, I guess it was noted online that Owens was pulled from live events, so he was not wrestling. So I don't know if they had something planned with him, and Mm -hmm. that was it. You knew Shinsuke was doing the Mixed Match Challenge, so he probably wasn't going to be on the show. Same thing with Natalya. Confused the fans. (laughs) What's this guy doing here? Twice. (laughs) Every second. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, Natalya wasn't on the show either. No, she just did uh, did that promo. But then again, she wasn't involved... She hasn't really been involved with the uh, mm. with the tag matches either. So right, um, at least it made sense for her not to be there. Which, <laughs> just thinking back to the those women's videos, I mean, you had the Mojo and the the Miz and Corbin that they did online. They were so good, and yeah. they don't bring that to mm-hmm. here. Yep. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Um. So after that, Orton does a video for himself. Mm. In an empty arena. Yeah, he must have been at a live event when that well, happened. Well, no, he, we know he was because the ring. Oh, yeah, he said WWE, WWE live. live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very good. But, but yeah, it was, I guess, but what, right after they set up the ring. Mm-hmm. Or, it could have been right after the event, actually. Yeah. Maybe they didn't finish or they didn't take down the ring yet or something. Um, but yeah, he says he's going to win for the third time, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Um, and then we got a six-woman tag match with the Riot Squad versus Charlotte and naomi and becky lynch yep 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 so we knew that was well it doesn't say we knew that was going to happen but that's been their formula lately. that's that's it if you don't know what to do six woman tag yes uh charlotte pretty much just destroyed the riot squad yeah. for the first mm-hmm. half of the match and then becky went in and did her part naomi went in and did her part they went outside the ring together, right, and stared at each other or whatever it was, well, and then they went to commercial and then yeah. came back and or it was the picture was it in picture in picture one? Uh I believe this was the match. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. This had um, to be. But I think Ruby knocked got knocked out of the ring and mm-hmm. Becky chased after her. And that's when the Riot Squad stood they, tall. They came and... over and then that's the <clears throat> transition happened during the commercial gotcha. there. Gotcha. Um and then, uh, so yeah. Yeah. Well, we didn't get to the end of the match yet. Uh, no. So it's kind of weird. Uh, they didn't give a nick a name to, because uh, Liv hit what looked like a sideways code breaker. Yeah, it Naomi. looked like a cross between the code breaker and the Jordanzo. Yeah. Because <laughs> so. she pulls her da- and pulled her down like uh, Enzo does, but it was into the knees rather than the foot. Yeah. Um, and hit that on Naomi, and uh, she actually pinned her. That was that. Kind of figured that. If the Riot Squad was going to win, it would be off of Ruby, not Liv. Or yeah. Morgan. And it was kind of abrupt, too, right? Did it come out of nowhere? It or kind, it was kind of, of, but that match had gone on a long Yeah, enough. fair enough. So, 
It's not like they were like in the middle of a big, mm-hmm. big like series of spots and then it just stopped. Yeah. This was kind of like a lull and then it just ends. Mm-hmm. Um, Let me go backstage and the Usos are being interviewed about their tag title match at Royal Rumble with yeah. the stipulation of it being two out of three falls. Yep. And they said some nonsense. I don't remember what they were yeah, they were saying that they don't even know who we are. Yeah, right. You know? They can't tell us apart. Yeah, right? I don't know why that was brought up, but I guess in reference to like the fact that, because wasn't it that it wasn't the wrong USO? It was the wrong. It was Gable pinned. Yeah, he the was USO the le- and he was Shelton the le- was the legal. Yeah, guy. I think. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, funny that right. they brought it up, even though it had nothing to do with. Last what... week they said it was the same referee that went to the back and oh, came yeah. back out. But so it wasn't. Yeah, <sighs> but yeah, they ended up getting jumped by Benjamin and Gable. Yep. And they yeah. said something about like, "We're going to take your championship." No, I think it was like, "We know who you are now," or something. Uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, former champs or something like yeah. that. Um. So you heard about what happened over the weekend? Yeah, why it, or does that just mean they're going to drop the titles for sure or I don't cuz he got was a DUI. DUI. Yeah. I was surprised that he was on the show to well, be perfectly honest. WWE did come out with a statement and they said I forget what his real name is. Uh, um it was Jay, right? Well, Jay's name is John, isn't it? That's Naomi's name. Yeah. Maybe it was Jimmy then. Well, anyway, they said that, you know, this person, you know, what they do outside of wrestling is their own responsibility, uh-huh. basically. And they said they will still be at SmackDown tonight, and or he will still be at SmackDown tonight and still be at the Royal Rumble defending his titles. All that right. was all they really came out and said. Well, well, what I meant was that usually they when they punish oh, yeah. people when stuff like this yeah. happens. That's mm-hmm. why I asked if that means they're gonna definitely lose them. But who knows? I uh, it was just a matter of time before Benjamin Gable got them anyway. Oh, absolutely. The way so, that they've been booking this yeah. feud. Because mm-hmm. you know, at some point they have to you know live up to what they've been saying. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> anyway, mm-hmm. moving on. Mm-hmm. So. I guess they really were feeling the lack of Owens on this show. Uh, this is my breath and break came in. Yeah, so they just did a video package pretty much chronicling the last month mm-hmm. of SmackDowns between anything that happened between Kevin Owens, Shane McMahon, AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, Dana O'Brien. Mm-hmm. So it was a complete waste of time. Yeah. Um, after that, we had Nakamura's Rumble video where basically <laughs> he just said, let's get ready to Rumble. Yeah, is that what he said? Yeah, that's, I, I, that's yeah, pretty I was... much what he said. Um, and then it, we're ready for the main event. Mm-hmm. Shane McMahon comes out with an entrance. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> but he came out to sit and watch the match. Mm-hmm. Not even come on back. commentary, just outside the ring. Yeah, just sit on chairs next to the title. Mm-hmm. Um, they cut back from commercial. Daniel Bryan's already at ringside. Jinder Mahal's in the ring. Mm-hmm. And Bobby Roode had just gotten into yes. the ring as well. Yeah. Um, and then they start announcing the, the main yes. event. Uh, so Before we get to the match, did you watch... We got a Fashion Files oh, preview. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, did you yes. watch it? I didn't watch the whole thing because uh, it who's... wasn't up when I looked. Oh, really? Yeah. I watched it right after the show. Why well, I, I looked during the show. Oh, okay. And it wasn't up Oh, yet. it was so good. Oh, it was good? Yeah, it was good because uh, Tyler was being Tanae Young again oh, God. to interview. Oh, yeah, because he rips the wig off yes. the, the thing that they showed on SmackDown. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he, he said that he's going to try to get approval, I think, from Daniel Bryan to be in the women's rumble. <laughs> um, and then Rusev and Aiden English come in, and Aiden English keeps trying to say Rusev Day, and um, Fandango keeps telling him to stop. So shut up. <laughs> stop. No, no. And then he eventually gets to say it. And then Rusev rips the wig off of Breeze, and uh, they challenge him to a rematch, and then uh, Breeze on goes like, well... You're not gonna fight us. You're gonna fight the Ascension, and the Ascension. What the hell, man? <laughs> they're eating. They were eating a gluten-free menu or something like that. Um, but you know, it was good. It, yeah. it, it it would have helped the show had it been on the, the show. transition from, I guess, full-on, I guess, mock police drama mm-hmm. to just being them doing things, but backstage is is working well for them. Yeah, <laughs> because. It doesn't take as much effort to come up with like the 
over the top mm-hmm. references and stuff like that. No, absolutely. And, yeah. and and it works because it's just their relationship with the Ascension, basically, which is really it's yeah. it's very funny. Mm-hmm. So I like it. We I didn't like even it. get the Bludgeon Brothers this week. That's fine. All they do is beat people up. There's really not a whole lot going on there. No, but it's just, just mind boggling. I know. I like like I had said earlier. This was Vince waking up what yesterday morning mm-hmm. and going. Oh, shit, we got know, smacked down a book. No, 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 no. <laughs> there's there's a lot of things on the Royal Rumble card. Huh? Maybe we should move some stuff off. Then he goes to the SmackDown writers. He's like, "Yeah, I know you had a, a show planned already, but this this needs to happen tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it." Oh man! So he took something that was supposed to take two weeks to do mm-hmm. and d- did it one night. Yeah, basically. Yes. But. So back to our main event of Jinder Mahal versus Bobby Roode for the vacant U.S. title. The finals. The finals. Um, this was an all blue match. Yeah, it was. It was odd. Jinder, Jinder looks weird with the blue on. Yeah. <sighs> you weren't supposed to wear it tonight. Did he have those like full leg? pads i think yeah the knee pads went down either super low or yeah, they're like almost the entirety of his legs yeah i i never noticed that before mm-hmm. but maybe because it's the blue that sticks out um but and- i mean this match was what it was i mean you weren't you know, expecting a five-star match but out of these two it's not you know there's no one to carry the match yeah you know? so um but yeah that, that's that's really it i mean these two are no it's true both and, of and them work off of other people yeah. better and you put two guys that have wrestled once already tonight it's true um rude was technically the or i should say gender was the fresher of the two yeah there's only a half hour in between their matches. well yeah and rude <laughs> was selling the uh chest or ribs or whatever from mojo, from mojo yeah. yeah but <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, uh, the a, the finish was nice. Uh, Jinder had set Rude up for the Coloss, and then Rude transitioned it into the glorious DDT and yes. picked up the victory. Yes. Um, I will give them that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then Shane and Daniel Bryan come to the ring and give him his title. Yeah. Um, I just really hope Dolph doesn't come back and this turns into Bobby Rude versus Dolph again. You know what? <coughs> You know what's probably going to happen? Mm-hmm. The reason why it's no longer on the Royal Rumble because is because gonna Dolph Ziggler is going to fight Bobby Roode for the <laughs> for the title. I know. Calling it now. I know. What, yeah. what is he going to bring his title back? And then they'll be like, oh, we're going to unify the two titles. <laughs> That's a grand idea, except for the fact that he left the title in the ring. Yeah. I know that doesn't technically mean anything, because I'm sure he has a replica of it already. It's true. He um, can bring a piece of cardboard. Also true. Was um, Rusev television champion? Wasn't he going on about being a TV champion or something like that? Maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, you know. Yeah, I mean, like we bitched and complained about the Shane McMahon storyline. Uh-huh. And that was off TV. And what they came up with instead was no better. Goose egg. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I mean. It's SmackDown in a nutshell. It, yeah, but it's just so. <laughs> I don't. I just don't know how it fell f- this far from what it used to be. Um, it's a pretty good question. Pretty good question. Yeah. But so that was questions can't be answered. Yeah, that was our SmackDown review. Yeah. If you liked what you saw here, I know we didn't. <laughs> um, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.